Understanding Concentrations with Scientist Cindy. A solution has two components. The liquid component of the solution is called the solvent or diluent. In our examples in microbiology, the solvent is usually nutrient-rich broth. The other component of the solution is the solid component of the solution. The solid component of the solution is called the solute. In our example in microbiology, our solid is usually cells. The value of concentration is given as the amount of solute over the volume of the liquids or the solvent. Concentration is simply a ratio that expresses the amount of solids you have to the amount of liquid that you have. So what do concentration values look like? The top number of our ratio is the amount of solids. This can be measured as mass, like grams, milligrams, kilograms, etc., or in weight, like ounces, pounds, or tons. In our case, we will be measuring the individual numbers of cells in our solution. So the unit for the top number in our concentration will simply be cells or number of cells. So let's say that we had 10 million cells in our solution. So the top number would simply be 10 million cells. The bottom number of our ratio is the volume of solvent. Solvents are liquids, so they are measured according to the amounts of three-dimensional space that they occupy. This is their volume. You will notice that we simply take the volume of the entire solution to be the volume of the solvent. The reason that we can do this is because the amount of space or volume that is occupied by the solids is so small in comparison to the total overall volume that it is considered negligible or insignificant. This is almost always the case in sciences. The value for volume is usually measured in milliliters, but we could express concentration in other units of volume as well, such as liters, microliters, quarts, gallons, etc. For example, let's say we have five milliliters of solution, which would translate to five milliliters of solvent or five milliliters of nutrient-rich broth. So the units we will use for our bottom number in our concentration is simply ml for milliliters, and our concentration is expressed as cells per milliliter. So in our example, we would have 10 million cells per 5 mLs. Great, but technically this is a concentration. However, it is not its most simplified form. To get the concentration in its most simplified form, simplify the fraction by dividing the top number by the bottom number. Let's try it. We'll divide the top number by the bottom number. We ended up with 2 million cells per milliliter. That's our concentration.